for the first time in my life, a girl called me to come and see her. The girl who called me was Mika Miyagi. She was an outgoing girl who was famous for her beauty. I wondered what she needed from me. Could it be? Morimoto-kun, can you become my tutor? Right! What? I was an introvert, but I did expect something more than that for a second. That, that was, was embarrassing. embarrassing. Morimoto-kun, I want you to become my tutor until the next exam is over. You want me to be your tutor? Yeah, cause you're always at the top of the scoreboard. I couldn't think of anyone else but you. I'm not very good at tutoring. Someone though. My name is Jun Morimoto. I was just being another boring introverted student. But my grades were very good. Please, or otherwise, my parents are going to make me quit the idol training school. I see. My grades are getting worse these days and my parents are really mad about it. Right. Yeah, so please? I don't know if I can do it. You should ask someone else. Please, it's only until the next exam is over. Fine. Yay! Let's start from today then. You can tutor me at my house after school. Huh? I'm coming to your house. Is that okay with you? It's totally fine. My house is really close to the school too. If you say so. I'll come to your classroom after school then. We're studying at our house alone by ourselves. Jeez, what am I thinking? I reluctantly agreed to start tutoring her, but I was still anxious if I could tutor her well because I wasn't used to talking to girls. At the same time, my heart was pounding with excitement. Just like that, I became a tutor for Mika until the next exam. Morimoto-kun, are you ready to go? Yeah. Then let's go. After school, Mika came to my classroom to pick me up, as she promised. Yeah. I was so nervous to even talk with her because I had never walked with a girl like this, let alone a beauty like Mika. Look, Mika and Morimoto-kun are walking together. Huh? Are they dating? <laughs> no way. But I wonder why they're going home together. I could hear everyone whispering about us. I, I know, know that. that. I, know I know that, that I'm not a match for Mika. Mika. I, really I really want to get, get out of this place, place as soon as, as possible. possible. I ignore them. Let's go, Marimoto-kun. Mmm. They must be really bored. If they have time to care about someone else, they should be caring about themselves. They're rumoring about us because you're walking with me. Are you fine with this? What do you mean? Don't listen to people like that. Just ignore them. But I think a beautiful girl like you should be walking with a guy like me. Why? I was the one who asked you to come with me. Oh, that reminds me. Morimoto-kun. Can I call you Jun? It feels wrong to call you by your surname. I don't mind. Good. Jun, this way. Okay. It was about five minutes walk from school to Mika's house. Mika told me she went to the idol training school three days per week. So we decided that we were going to study at her house on the day when she didn't have training lessons. So... She, she really, really goes, goes to the auto training, training school. There's, There's no wonder, wonder why she's so beautiful. This is my house. Come on in. I excuse me. Just make yourself at home. I'm usually alone in the house during this time of the day. Jesus. So we're all alone by ourselves? Okay. Now let's start with some revision. Can you solve this problem? Yes, sir. Wait, when did we learn this? Huh? It was like the beginning of this term. Please, don't give up on me. Fine. Let's try and solve this problem together then. I'm counting on you. Nika, Nika. She's, she's so, so cute. cute. Oh, I'm so tired. I think it's enough for the first day. Oh, it's still the 
the first day. I wonder if my grades are gonna improve. I guess it's up to you. You don't have to think about it too much right now. You're right. Thanks. You're welcome. Your grades are gonna improve if you put in the effort, you know? That's really true. You know, at the training school... She started telling me about her dream to become an idol. At the same time, she also told me about how anxious she was to become one. Even if she became one, the career could end any time, and she was scared of that. So she thought that she should study, too, in order to broaden her future choices. To be honest, I was shocked to see a perfect girl like her. She was beautiful, she had dreams, and she had thought through about her life very well. To me, Mika was like a shining star, and I was comparing her to myself. My grades had always been good, but I never had any dreams. So Mika looked like a star to me, and she was starting to become a great motivation for me. Whenever the school was over, it was Mika's routine to pick me up to walk home together. Dan, let's go! Yeah, I was starting to get used to walking next to her, but there was one thing that I hadn't gotten used to. Now solve this problem. Ah, I think I know this one. Sitting in front of a beautiful girl like Mika to tutor her, I still wasn't used to that situation. Mika, Mika is so, so beautiful, beautiful when she's, she's concentrating. concentrating. Her, her face, face is, is so small. Does, Does she, she have, have makeup, makeup on? on? She's, she's so, so beautiful. beautiful. I, I guess, guess she doesn't, doesn't need any makeup. makeup. I really, I really don't, don't know what, what to do, do with, with myself, myself when she's, she's focused on solving problems. problems. Maybe I, I should pretend, pretend that I'm asleep. Jen, hello. Are you asleep? S sorry I didn't mean to. <laughs> Jen, you must be really tired. Her, Her smile, smile is the most beautiful thing, thing in the world, world. And, and I am no match for a beauty, beauty like Mika. Mika. I was starting to fall for Mika but I didn't want to get hurt. I was trying so hard to suppress my feelings for her. One day, June, can I talk to you for a second? Yoshizawa-kun, a popular boy in the class, came up and talked to me. I want to ask you a question. Are you dating Mika? No, I'm not. I'm just tutoring her until the next exam. Right. I thought she wouldn't date an introvert like you, but just in case, I wanted to know the truth. I'm planning on asking Mika out today. I see. Do you like Mika too? <laughs> that was a joke. You're no match for Mika, and you know that. Mmm. That's it. Just pray for me that this goes well. Bye. I couldn't say anything. Yushizawa-kun was right. I was no match for Mika. It was the moment when the reality struck me so hard. I was in love with Mika. I was very sure about my feelings, and at the same time, I was so sad. Yoshizawa-kun is the popular guy. I think he's a good match for Mika. The next day, I was so depressed since the morning came. I wonder if Mika said yes to Yoshizawa-kun's confession. To be honest, I didn't want to see Mika after school. But we only have a week left. When the exam is over, everything's gonna go back to normal. I was completely in love with Mika. But I knew I was no match for her. So I decided to keep my feelings a secret. If I kept it a secret, I was just gonna go back to the loner after the exam was over. I couldn't let myself get hyped anymore. And I just wanted to enjoy my last week with Mika to the fullest. Dan, sorry for making you wait. It's fine. Let's go. Yeah, we have a week until the exam. I feel like I'm gonna do very well. You're gonna be fine. You studied so hard for it. I knew that because I was always beside her when she was working so hard. We had to go to training school too, but she never complained about how hard everything was. She was always so positive. Nika. Nika. I won't be with you like this after the exam is over. And the exam was over. June, ah, oh, there you are. Hmm? What's wrong? 
Look, I got over 90 out of 100 in all three subjects. These are the highest marks in my life. Congrats, you did it. It's all because of you, Jun. Thank you so much for tutoring me. It wasn't me. It's all because of your effort. Mika, you're amazing. <sighs> I'm so relieved. I don't have to quit the training school. That's great. Jin, do you want to go and buy some ice cream after school? Mika, let's end this here. I had enough. If I didn't end it here, I was going to want more. Oh, uh -huh. Jun, come with me. There were people around us, so we moved to the school rooftop. What do you mean you want to end this? Well, we promised it, didn't we? I'm tutoring you until the exam is over. The exam is over, so this needs to end, too. Huh? But that's only for the tutoring. What do you mean this needs to end? Yoshizawa-kun confessed to you, right? You don't need me anymore. How did you know that? I hope the best for you two. Wait, it's not like that. What happened? Yoshizawa-kun did confess to me, but... I'm not dating him. There's no way I'm dating him because I like you so much, Jun. What did you just say? I like you, Jun. I always liked you. It's true that my parents were going to make me quit the training school if my grades got worse. But because I didn't have any chance to talk to you even though I was in love with you, I thought we could be closer if I asked you to become my tutor. Mika. I was so happy to be with you, Jun, for past few weeks. I hate studying, but I could do it just because you were with me. So... Don't tell me that this is over. I want to be with you, Jun. Mika, to be completely honest, I can't believe you. I'm like this. I'm the introvert. Are you sure? I'm fine as long as you are with me, Jun. I'm gonna say this until you understand. I love you, Jun. Mika, I fell in love with you too. But I was worried that... I was no match for you. That moment, Mika hugged me. Shut up. Who decides if we were a good match or not? Mika. I'm saying this once more. I love you, Jun. Please go out with me. And our eyes met for a second. We both blushed, took each other's hand, and smiled. If you're fine with me, then please make me your boyfriend. Let's stay together forever and ever. Since then, we stopped studying together after school. Done! Ah, Mika, what do you want to do after this? Mika kept going to the training school. Whenever she didn't have a lesson, we enjoyed our time together. One thing had changed. Since we started dating, I stopped wearing glasses and bought some contact lenses. Everyone started treating me differently since then. I also changed my hair to the one Mika chose. Jin, I love you. It didn't feel so bad to change for someone else. I just wanted to become a better guy for Mika. I finally had to go for myself. The summer holiday was over. It was the first day after summer holiday. I was in the second year of high school. Morning, Iori-kun. Morning, Mahiru. My name is Iori Saotome. I was just an ordinary high school student. The only thing that I was unique to me was the fact that I had a pretty childhood friend, Mahiru Takanashi. She was very pretty. Too pretty that almost all of the boys in my ear had a crush on her. To be honest, I always felt like I wasn't good enough to be a friend of Mahiru. But we were always together since we were in kindergarten. I don't, I don't think, think I should, I should be, be the, the one standing, standing next, next to you. I was in junior high. Someone told me that I should leave Mahiru alone because I wasn't a match for her, so I told her so. I feel relaxed when I'm next to you, Iori-kun. I'm here because I want to be here. You don't like spending time with me? 
Mahiru said. Of course, my answer was no. Whenever we were alone by ourselves, Mahiru felt like a ray of sunshine. Being next to Mahiru was like sunbathing in the warm sun. I thought Mahiru would leave me someday on her own whenever she got fed up with me. But we got into the same high school and she was still next to me. Hey Mahiru-chan, I'm looking forward to spend more time with you this term. There was a guy who greeted Mahiru, acting as if he was very close to her. His name is Tsukasa Kurohara. He was the boss of this class. He was an outgoing popular guy who was also in a school tennis club. M morning. Mahiru forced herself to smile to greet him back. Tsukasa then glanced at me. Mahiru-chan, a pretty girl like you should choose who you keep next to you, you know? There he goes again. Tsukasa was obsessed with Mahiru since we started high school. He was handsome, he was good at sports, and he knew how to entertain people. Obviously, he was very popular amongst the girls. But Tsukasa's mind was fixed on Mahiru. Sorry about that. Are you okay? Mahiru asked me, looking sorry about what Tsukasa said. I'm used to this because he's like that every single day. Don't worry about me. Also, all the guys who wanted to approach Mahiru hated me because they thought I was in their way. Tsukasa wasn't the first one to do this to me because I was always with Mahiru. I had to learn how not to care about those guys. Mahiru went to join the track team after school. I wasn't in any of the school clubs, so I started walking home right away. But when I was walking back home, I saw something that worried me. They looked like a couple, but I knew something was going on between them because I knew them both. Hey, Sana-chan, let's go to my house now. The guy was Tsukasa. The girl was Sana-chan, Mahiru's younger sister. Well, I have to go home early today. Plus, I went to your house yesterday, Kurohara-senpai. Are you saying that I'm trying to sleep with you? Don't you love your sis? Tsukasa, who was obsessed with Mahiru, was with Sana-chan. They were too far away from me so I couldn't hear the rest of their conversation, but I could easily sense that something was off. Should, Should I, I let, let Mahiru, Mahiru know? know? I was really close with Mahiru, so I was a good friend with her sister, Sana-chan as well. So I was worried about Sana-chan. So, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm sure. That night, I called Mahiru and told her about what I saw. I'm gonna ask Sana. I could hear a panic in Mahiru's voice. Hold on, I don't think Sana-chan would tell you the truth. I had a gut feeling. What do you mean? I might just be imagining this, but I think Kurohara doesn't like Sana-chan. He's after you. Then why is he dating Sana? I had to explain. Just to keep in mind that this is only my imagination, it's gonna be a shocking one. Are you ready to hear it? Mahiru was silent for a while, but then she made up her mind. She told me to tell her about it because it was about her precious sister. So I did. Kurohara wanted Mahiru, but he knew that he was gonna be dumped if he asked her out now. So he decided to use Sanachan. I didn't know what he did, but Kurohara somehow forced Sanachan to date him. Then, Kurohara was planning to threaten Mahiru to date him using Sanachan. He could say that he would take Sanachan's virginity away if Mahiru didn't agree to date him. Kurohara was never in love with anyone. He only thought of the girls as decors or something. There were rumors about him that he was doing similar things to other girls. I think you're overthinking. Are you saying that Sanachan is dating Kurohara because she truly likes him? I don't think so. Let's say that you're right, Yuri-kun. What should I do? I think you should talk to the adults, but if he deleted all the evidences, we can't do anything about it. It's not the best way for Sanachan as well. Leave it to me. I'll think of something. Mahiru, can you gather the evidences in secret? Like the chat history between Sanachan and Kurohara, or any kind of photos. Send them to me once you find anything. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe it was an emergency. Kurohara wouldn't take away Sanachan's virginity yet, but he could easily do something close to that. If Sanachan resisted, then Kurohara would turn to Mahiru. I called my friend. Oh, Iori-kun, what's up? Actually, I have a good story for you. I want to help this girl in the first year. She's the victim. Aoki was part of the school press. 
He was running the school press as the new president since the beginning of that term. I will listen. I'm gonna take some notes, so hold up. Then I told him about everything that might be going on between Sanachan and Kurohara. That's what I think is happening. I'll send the evidences to you once my hero gets hold of them. This is gonna make a great copy. No one is reading the school newspaper these days, but this is gonna be amazing. Please. I want to help her because she's the sister of my childhood friend. I said, and I heard Aoki groan. Well, I don't think we should make a story out of this because it involves a particular individual, but I personally think that we should turn this into a big story because it's like bullying, so... So? I'll write the article and publish it. The teachers are gonna come after me, and I think I'll have to resign as the president of the school press, but who cares? This is exciting! I feel like I'm the true journalist now. The call ended. I was about to put my phone back on the desk when Mahiru called me. You... you were right. Mahiru's voice was trembling. I could tell that she was really depressed. I'll send you the chat history between them. Also, I've got some of the photos that might be helpful. Some? I asked back. I'm sorry. Kurohara-kun was sending all these images that I can't even show you to Sana. It's all my fault. Sana-chan was only being used as a scapegoat because of my hero. I could easily imagine what she was going through now. I stared at the screenshots that my hero had sent me. There are guys who are after my hero. I'm worried about her. Really? I have to tell my hero about that. Wait, maybe I could do something about it. The conversations were just as I had imagined. Then, please do something about it. Please help Mahiru. I'll help you, but I'm not doing this for free. How can I pay you? By becoming my girlfriend. I could see that Sanachan didn't reply right away. I couldn't imagine what Sanachan was thinking about during the long pause. But Sanachan made her mind up. Fine, but please help Mahiru for me. Good. But don't tell about this to anyone else, okay? You know what's gonna happen if you do, right? He definitely was rotten to his core, but I was also relieved to see that he was the complete villain. That way, I didn't have to feel sorry for him at all. I was going to make him regret everything that he did to Mahiru and Sanachan. Thanks, leave everything else up to me. I'll try my best because I don't want to affect Sanachan too much. Please, help Sana for me. Gotcha. Then Aoki and I stayed up until midnight to write up an article for the school newspaper. We tried to find the best way to write the article so Sanachan wouldn't get hurt. Now I can do the rest. Just wait and see, Iorikun. Sorry and thanks. I was so grateful to have a friend like him. The next day, I walked into the classroom with Mahiru, who looked very depressed. The classroom was very noisy. They were gathering up at the back of the classroom. The school newspaper was posted on the blackboard. Is this true? He's such a bastard. Apparently, our revenge was working. Sanachan's name was nowhere on the newspaper because we didn't want to hurt Sanachan. What are you guys doing? Kurohara came into the class. He looked full of himself as per usual. The classmates looked at Kurohara like they were looking at something truly disgusting. Kurohara-kun, what is this? Mahiru read the newspaper and went to question Kurohara. Kurohara finally realized the newspaper. He went up to the blackboard and read quietly for a minute. But then he screamed. This is some kind of mistake. I didn't do anything like this. Someone planned this to drag me down. Kurohara was screaming but no one believed him. That moment, Aoki called my name with his bright voice. Iorikun. Someone is here to see you! Everyone looked at Aoki, who stood right next to the classroom door. Sanachan, the victim, came into the classroom. Iori senpai! Aoki senpai told me that you prepared this for me! Thank you so much for what you did! That was the final blow to Kurohara. Iori, you bastard! What the fuck do you think you did, you fucking introvert? Kurohara cursed and tried to grab my collar. I slapped his face as hard as I could before he could do anything to me. It was a clean hit. Kurohara fell on the floor. What you did is a criminal offense. All you can do now is to regret what you did. I had so much that I wanted to say, but I was too angry that those were the only words I could spit out. 
Aoki, Mahiru, Sanachan, and me were called to the office after that by the teachers. They wanted to know what actually happened. Well, they were mad. No wonder why, because I even slapped him in the face. I could only laugh at myself after we were finally let go by the teachers. But I didn't regret a thing. Yori senpai, you did this for me, right? I think I'm gonna fall in love with you. Sanachan said. And for some reason, she decided to hug my left arm. But it was for me too. Mahiru said, and she hugged my right arm. Hey, the teachers are gonna get mad again if they see us like this. But I was really relieved that everything was finally over. No one knew what happened to Tsukasa Kurohara after that. But one thing for sure, we never saw him again at our school. Hey, Ren, can you take this too? Ren, this one too, please. One by one. My seniors and colleagues pile files up on my desk, and they leave the office looking satisfied. Hey, you left your work with him too! Because I have a date after this. Ren is about the only one who has time on his hands, right? Ha <laughs> ha! I guess so. He's so introverted. He probably doesn't even have friends. As I listen to the voices fade away, I sigh to myself. Ah, <sighs> over time again? With, With this, this much, much work, work I'm, I'm going to have, have to come, come early again, again tomorrow. tomorrow. I thought to myself as I typed on my keyboard. After a while, a beautiful woman dressed nicely in a well-fitted suit came in. She is my boss, Shizuka Sasaki. Good evening. Good evening. Ren, you're working overtime again? Um, yes. Shizuka-san came up to me the only person left on this floor, and frowned as she looked at the files on my desk. This isn't even your work. <sighs> I see they pushed it on to you again. You need to tell them no. I'm sorry. <sighs> but it is true that it gets gone faster when you do it. To be honest, you are a lot more accurate than everyone else, and it is quite helpful to us. But you need to take care of yourself. Shizuku-san said as she lightly patted my shoulder and walked away, looking kind of sad. I get back to work on my desk. I, I see Shizuku-san Shizuku -san is, is working overtime, overtime as well. As well. I, suppose I suppose that's, that's how, how she worked, worked hard and, and got, promoted got promoted to that, that position. position. I think it's amazing that she is able to achieve that position, even though she is a woman. Shizuku-san is great at her work, and she has great decision-making skills. I want to be like her. Shizuku-san is my idol. I'm going to work harder so that she will notice me. I pull myself together and I get to work on the files. A few days later, there was news on our office floor. My name is Rino Mamiya and I'll be working with you all starting today. Nice to meet you. Whoa, she's so cute. A very cute girl that looks like a pop idol or someone who was hired for a mid-career position. Okay, I'll have Ren be your trainer, Reno. Huh? Why him? I'll do it. No, I'm a much better option. The men all jump up, but one glare from Shizuku-san makes them all go quiet. There's no way anyone who has to offload their work onto someone else can handle both their daily tasks and training a new employee. That one phrase made everyone freeze in place. All right, everyone, get back to work. Shizuka-san clapped her hands together, and everyone got back to work all at once. I, I guess, guess she was pretty, pretty mad, mad at everyone. everyone. I'm, I'm sure, sure everyone will work hard today. I was awkwardly laughing at everyone's blatant change in behavior when Reno-san came running towards me. Nice to meet you, um, Ren-san, right? Ah, same to you. Yes, so what should I do first? Oh, so your seat is here. Sit here and organize these files, will you? My seat is right next to yours. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Okay, thank you very much. You're very reliable, senpai. Reno said smiling, and that made my face feel hot. This, this might, might be, be my, my first time, time where a girl, girl actually, actually respects, respects me, me and... We are having a normal conversation. 
Shizuku-san is the only person that talks to me normally at this company. So I felt moved by such a silly thing. A week later. So you do this here and this here. It looks like you're ready used to things around here. It's helpful that you're so quick to learn. I say to her, and Reno-san smiles back at me. <laughs> Thank you very much, but it's thanks to your good training. And even when I mess up, you are kind to me so that my motivation doesn't go away. I'm so glad you're my trainer. As Reno-san said that, my heart was pounding out of my chest. The next evening, I was walking home late after work with Reno-san, after working overtime. And then Tanaka-san said... Ah! Reno-san! Suddenly, Reno-san twisted her ankle and tripped. Ow! I didn't know there was a step down here. I didn't see it and I twisted my ankle. Reno-san said on the verge of tears. I lend her my hand and help her up, but she is walking awkwardly. Try not to put too much weight on her ankle. I don't think you could walk home like that, but it will take a while for a taxi to come around at this hour. I guess I have no choice. Here, get on. I'll take you home, I said as I crouched down, facing away from her. Uh-huh, a piggyback ride? Yep, hurry up. But, uh, um, okay, thank you. Reno-san carefully gets up on my back, and I hold her firmly and get up. I took Reno-san home. Thank you very much. Not only a good worker, but you're also very kind. Haha, <laughs> thanks. But all I have going for me is work. I'm not very popular among women. Really? But I think you're fine. I'm sure there is someone out there that will see you for who you really are. Well, see you tomorrow. Yep, see you tomorrow. Reno-san blushed a little bit and disappeared into her apartment. The next day at lunch... Ah! Woo! Lunch break at last! Ransan, would you like to go out for a lunch with me? Huh? huh? Um, okay. Why is she hugging me? Reno-san happily grabbed onto my arm and made me stand up from my desk. Right after a frustrated voice came from behind us. You two seem awfully close. Since when are you two like this? Shizuku-san, why are you so mad? Oh, wait, are you Ren-san's girlfriend? What? N no. Shizuku-san denies Reno-san's assumptions with a bright red face. Reno-san looks relieved for some reason. Phew, <sighs> that's good. Well then, it shouldn't matter how close we are, right? Let's go, Ren-san. Um, okay. I'll see you later, Shizuku-san. A few days later. I've been having lunch with Reno-san every day now, but Shizuku-san's been acting more and more upset. Her face, when she's glaring at her computer, is quite intimidating, especially since she's so pretty. Why, why is, is she, she so, so mad? mad? I had no idea why. That afternoon... Ren! Well, I was cooped up in the reference room when Shizuku-san appeared suddenly and pushed me up against the wall. Sh Shizuku-san, what's going on? So you like Reno-san so much, do you? Huh? Every single day, the two of you like you're having so much fun. I've refrained from asking you out for drinks and stuff because I thought that you liked work. And I didn't want to get in your way. But you go out to lunch with Reno-san and I've heard that you go out for drinks too. If that's the case, then I want you to go out with me too. Huh? You want to go out places with me? Yes, I have always viewed highly of your work ethics. And while others made fun of me for being a woman, you never did insult me for my skills. I'm here working hard because of you, so I want to get closer to you. Um, so that means... So, I've always liked you. Huh? I'm not going to hold back anymore. So be prepared. So what if we are in a relationship at the workplace? I'm going to marry you, Ren. She said as Shizuku-san left with angry footsteps. Shizuku-san likes me? No way. 
I couldn't get over the shock for a while. From that day, Shizuka-san really seemed to stop hiding her feelings at work. Reza, let's go out for lunch. No, he's going out with me today. Whoa! Before Reno-san could reach me, Shizuka-san pulled me in. So let me have a chance today. Ugh. The two silently stare at each other. Another evening. Ren, it's Friday, so let's go out for drinks tonight. Oh, then I want to come too. Let's go together, the three of us. Why you two? Bosses should look after her workers, right? Let's all go out for drinks. Ugh. So the Cold War had gone on like this for a while. A few weeks later, I was so set to attend a social party with a few other partner companies. Ren-san, look at my dress. Do you think it looks nice on me? Oh, don't you think that I look more attractive? The two were posing in front of me, showing off their figures for some reason. They both dressed up in a way that flattered their body types, and their exposed thighs made my heart pound. I... I think you both look great. Thank you, but you can't be greedy and choose both. Yes, so who do you want to go out on a date with tonight? You need to make a choice. Uh, um... I was stuck in between when a classy woman with a great physique came up to us. <laughs> Looks like you all are having fun. Oh, Miss Mamiya, it's nice to see you, ma'am. Oh, so, so this, this is F Corp CEO. CEO. She, she is, is really, really pretty. pretty. I was taken aback when Miss Mamiya looked over and smiled at me. So you must be Ren. Everyone at my company knows how talented you are. As a matter of fact, all the projects you've worked on with our company have brought major sales to our company. And I value your skills as well. Th thank you. I'm so glad that someone like you is my daughter's trainer at work. Huh? <laughs> daughter? You mean Reno-san? Oh, didn't I tell you? This here is my mother. Huh? I have always kept an eye on you, Ren. Hoping to recruit you to our company one day. But I'm glad we have a new connection. Say, wouldn't you like to come to our company with Reno? With, with her? Yes, exactly. As Reno's husband. What? Does that mean marriage? R Ren, I know you're not the one to get easily fooled by money, right? That's so rude. Ransom, I have lots of other perks other than just money, right? I was being hugged from both sides, and my body temperature was rising like crazy. Um, so, so what, what were we, we talking, talking about, about again? again? Why, Why are, are we, we talking, talking about, about marriage, marriage here? here?